Good morning, everyone. This is your uh, Kilauea update for the morning of June 1st. Uh, starting in the lower east rift zone, um, Fisher 8 is uh, still the most active fisher and is continuing to produce persistent fountains up to heights of 260 feet and it's feeding a major lava flow field that is heading northeast alongside Highway 132. The flow front is moving at about 80 yards an hour and is currently 0.85 miles west of the Four Corners intersection. Um, a mandatory evacuation is in effect for Leilani Estates and residents of Kapoho Beach Lots and Vacation Lands are being urged to evacuate by 6 p.m. today or risk being isolated if the lava flow cuts access to Beach Road. Um, the Fisher 18 flow front has stagnated about half a mile from Route 137, but small breakouts are still occurring further up the flow, with the most active one about 1.5 miles from the road. At the summit, um, ash continued to erupt intermittently from the vent in Hale Ma'u Ma'u Crater, and continued explosions and elevated seismicity are expected. Um, and the overlook vent itself within the crater has grown from about 12 acres to more than 100 acres uh, as a result of the explosions. So communities downwind should continue to be prepared for ash fall and bog as long as the explosions continue. And as always, the USGS Volcanoes website for the Hawaii Volcano Observatory is a good place to find information about preparing for and dealing with ash. Thanks.